Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I'm so excited about today's video. I have not filmed since last year. Um, no, that's not true. I filmed the giveaway video, but I haven't filmed like a tutorial or a get ready with me or anything like that or done a collab since last year. Um, actually, the last time I filmed was the 30th, so it's been it's been a minute. So I'm so glad to be back. I just took a few days off because, you know, traveling was hectic. The trip was hectic. Um, everything was just crazy. So today I'm so excited because it's a collab with my amazing friend, Jessica from Stars Hollywood Jessica here on YouTube. She is a Swedish YouTuber and I absolutely love watching all of her videos. She is just She's so talented with makeup, but she also does like hauls. Um, she does, she's doing currently a palette collection video where she, so far it's 10 parts, I believe. Um, she has over 1400 palettes. So, um, so yeah, so she is amazing. Definitely go check out her channel. I'm so happy to have her as my friend. And we decided that we're going to do, um, we did a collab a few months back. I'll link it up here in the cards, but um, we did a collab where we chose our favorite shades out of our favorite five Juvia's Place palettes. So I was like, we should do something like that again, except with a different brand. So today we are doing a favorite shade in the palette with the five Jeffree Star palettes. So I'm really, really excited. So of course that includes the Alien Palette, the Thirsty Palette, the Blood Sugar Palette, the Androgyny Palette, and the Beauty Killer Palette. So let me grab them. I have them all right here. Um, so from the Beauty Killer Palette, I already swatched them on the back of my hand. So from the Beauty Killer Palette, and I have, I have eyeshadow on my fingers, and I touched up my hair color, so... Um, yeah, I have blue fingers, so ignore that. So I chose the shade Violence, which is like a maroon purple from the Beauty Killer palette right here. And then I chose Frosting, which is like a very shimmery, like light yellowish shade from um, the Androgyny palette. And then I chose Cavity, which is a hot pink from the Blood Sugar palette. And then I chose Submerge, which is this bright teal blue from the Thirsty palette. And then I chose this gorgeous duo chrome um, from the Alien palette called Probe. So those are my um, favorite shades or some of my favorite shades. It's really hard to choose, but these are some of my favorite shades from the Jeffree Star palettes and we're going to create a look with all of them in one look. So uh, for my eyeshadow base today, I'm going to use something totally different. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, but first I'm going to put on my primer, which is going to be the L'Oreal magic perfecting base um it's just kind of like it's really close to like the optical illusion primer from urban decay or the um professional it's kind of like a silicone-y but i feel like it's better than either one of those two personally but it's kind of like the touch of silk canvas primer too i don't know they're kind of all in the same family to me but um, I'm going to be using the, like I said, the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. This is what I used to use all the time as my eyeshadow base. And then I had switched to the MAC Paint Stick in white. Um, and I really, really, really love that. But I found my eyes watering a lot. And then I found out, I told you guys another in another video, that it wasn't eye safe. So I was like, hmm. So I decided um, to go ahead and not repurchase that for now. Um, I'm going to try it again just one more time just to make sure that it is that that was causing my eyes to water, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that it was. And, you know, it's way more expensive than the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. This is a brand new one because I don't know what the heck I did with mine. Maybe I went, I might have used it up before I bought the MAC paint stick. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to pat that out with my beauty sponge. It definitely isn't as creamy as the 
MAC paint stick, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I'm going to test the MAC paint stick and just make sure that wasn't what it was because that was honestly my favorite eyeshadow base to use. Um, and I was sad to find out that it wasn't eye safe, but oh well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Androgyny palette. And I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe um, M505. Make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm going to go into the shade, the shade, I can talk, <laughs> the shade frosting, which is right here. Um, I know that I look very colorful today <laughs> with my uh, blue hair and my um, chartreuse shirt, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what made me wear this shirt. I don't know that I should wear this color when I have this hair color, but who knows. So I figured that um, I like this shade a lot. I've used this shade as a highlighter as well, and it's beautiful. I might use it as a highlighter today. I know that I'm going to try really hard to remember to use Safe Word. Is that in this palette? Yeah. Safe Word as a contour shade because I've heard that it's a great contour shade, but I never remember to use it. So I really want to do that today. So how has your new year been? Have you, you know, how has it been? What's been going on? Anything fun? Did you do anything fun for New Year's? We ended up just kind of hanging out. Um, didn't do anything crazy. None of us were feeling great the week. I mean, it was literally the craziest week ever. Like, it was just... Was Sophie getting attacked and it was just nuts. It was nuts. So we all kind of were just like, we want to just relax. So um, they have a fire pit in their backyard. So we were just sitting around the fire talking and we had fun. So it was nice. So I'm going in with that shade Probe on this random Morphe blue brush. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I hope that you guys will go check out Jessica. Like I said, she has an amazing channel. I just love her personality. And she's very real and down to earth. Like she's very talkative and, you know, she doesn't, she edits some, but not like overly editing or anything like that. She, you know, leaves in her bloopers and stuff like that which I think is cool that's what I do I mean she edits more than I do but um that's not hard to do and so we became friends I found her channel and then I started commenting on it and then she noticed that I had a channel um because if you have a channel you can see when somebody else is a has a channel um, so she noticed that I had a channel and so she, I had already subscribed to her channel, but she noticed that I had one and then she subscribed to my channel and then I asked her to do a collab because you know me and collabs, I love doing them. So I'm going to go back into frosting and... I hope one day I can go to Sweden and meet her in person. I told her that if she ever comes to the US, she always has a place to stay. So I think that would be really cool if we both got to visit each other. My goal in 2019 is to meet um, as many of my YouTube friends as I can. Whether it's, you know, other content creators or some of you guys that I've become friends with. I think that would be so much fun. So I'm just going back in with more of that probe shade. 
I saw a look on Instagram a while back, and I honestly don't remember where I saw it. I forgot to screenshot it, but it's kind of been in my head, and it sort of had this color scheme, so I was like, I mean, the shades were slightly different, but I was like, you know, if I ever think of it, I'm going to recreate it, and so I thought, well, I think I'll recreate that one today. I don't usually plan my looks at all, but today was a little bit planned, so I have some really fun videos coming up. I've been coming up with some ideas for, like, different little mini-series and, like, different things that I want to do all revolving around, you know, my no buy, like, and again, I'm doing it for fun. Like I'm doing it because I think it's fun to see how long I can go without buying any makeup. What foundation was I going to use? Like Vanna White, like just doing this for no reason into the air. Um, but I want, I'm also doing it because I want to enjoy the products that I have I don't, for a while. Like, instead of always feeling like, oh, I gotta get the latest, the greatest, you know, the newest, whatever. And also, I think it'll be fun because if you guys have palettes that I have, then, you know, we can play with them together. I'm gonna use some of the Urban Decay, um, what is this called? all nighter foundation. I'm trying to decide if this is a foundation I would repurchase. I don't think it is. I mean, when I mix it with something else, maybe, but I feel like it's a little bit too full coverage. I'm mixing it in with the Pro Glow from Maybelline, this one. But um, yeah, so I want to, I want you guys to, you know, I'm going to be doing some polls as well, but if you guys can think of a you know, palette that you want to see me do a look with, you can comment it down below at any time in any of my videos. And I will, you know, if I have those palettes, I will definitely do a look with them because that's what I want to do this year. I want to play with palettes we already have. I'm trying to think of what in the heck I'm going to I didn't think this through. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll use my Morphe M something, 439. It's this like kind of flat brush. Um, so I, I just want to play with and enjoy my collection because I am definitely a makeup collector. Like I don't collect a whole lot of things, um, but makeup and jewelry are the two things that I love. And I feel like you know, a few years ago, I kind of, I used to ask for jewelry and makeup for every single holiday, every single event, every single occasion. And a while, about, I want to say three years ago, I was like, okay, I want to take a break from asking for jewelry for my birthday and Christmas and everything because I felt like I wasn't enjoying the jewelry that I had. I mean, I was, but like, it was so hard to like, wear everything. You know what I mean? Like I only have, I mean, I can only wear one or two necklaces at a time and I can only wear, you know, so many rings at a time. And so I was like, I don't want to get to the point where, you know, I'm not enjoying everything that I have. So, you know, because I have no desire to get rid of my makeup and I have no desire to get rid of my jewelry, but so I just want to, you know, enjoy what I have because, you know, a lot of what I have I get because it has special packaging. It's limited edition. You know, I, it meant something to me. It was a gift from somebody. And so I put a little bit of like blue eyeliner through my brows because I didn't really want to do anything crazy with my brows today. And I don't know if I like it, but we're going with it today. So I'm just going to take this sponge. Um, so yeah, so 
you know, I don't have a desire to like decluttering videos when it comes to makeup. Give me anxiety. Not really, but I mean, I have actual anxiety about other things, but, um, no, but they, I don't, I mean, I watch them, but I'm always like, oh no, oh no, oh no, you're getting rid of that, you're getting rid of that. And I have gotten rid of some stuff, like I've given makeup to family and friends and I've donated to the local women's shelter and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, I... I have the makeup that I have for a reason and and I like that so but I wanted to start actually enjoying it I'm using what is left over of my shape tape so I can finally get rid of I have two like tubes of it that have like the tiniest amount left in it and I even took out the stopper, so it's, like, empty. But, yeah, I, uh, so it's, like, I don't want to, I don't want it to sit there and me not use it, but I also don't want to get rid of it. So it's, like, that's why I was, like, okay, well, if I just stop buying new stuff, then I would actually use it. Because, and I am going to start out the year by finishing up and, like, reviewing the products that I did purchase at the end of last year, like, just a month ago. Because, because of, like, Pinkween and then Pink Miss, like, there were some palettes and stuff that I got that I haven't even used or reviewed yet because of the fact I feel like I have weird lines. Um, because of the fact that it didn't fit into like the holiday or the color schemes or anything like that. So I do have quite a few palettes that I do want to review. And I'm going to do that before. Oh no, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. Um, before I jump into all of, you know, using all the old stuff. But I am going to mix it up and I have a lot of lip colors as well which I know is weird to say because I tend to stick to like the same lip colors on my channel so I'm actually going to be doing a series a mini series next week it's going to be okay I know I have powder in here come on out there we go this is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um I'm going to do a series pretty much every day next week, I think, which is going to be called, uh, lippies that need love. And, uh, so I decided to call it. And basically I did a video, a collab with Annette, um, from Annette's makeup corner. I'm going to, in my first lippies that need love, I will link my collab with her. Um, because she had come up with an idea that we did a collab where we did a look based around our lip color. And she uh, and I did that because we had the same Juvia's Place lip color. And it was really fun. Like, I had a really great time doing that. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do a full week where I choose a different lip color that I haven't used in a while. And I do a look based on it. Arcade. Arcade? No. All right is what I meant to say. Um, I'm going to now use Safe Word as, um, which looks like this one right here. So let me dust off this powder. I'm going to use it as my contour slash, I don't know, bronzing powder, whatever. But, um, so I'm going to do a whole week where I choose a different lip color and kind of Oh, that is pretty. Try to build a look around it. So I'm really excited about that. So that's just one of the things to get myself, you know, to make myself use some of the lip colors that I have that I have been neglecting. Because I was finding that some of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks even had, like, dried out a little bit because I wasn't using them. 
as much and that made me sad because I kept going to the same like default lip colors so not good okay and then I'm gonna grab my blush brush where are you no that's not it I I have I'm a little disorganized today because I have a lot of my makeup um, is still not brought back into the house like it's still in the car because I brought a lot with me when I went and I'm going into the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 I'm using Lena and Sola those are the two shades I tend to use um, I brought a lot with me and I'm actually trying to organize a lot of my makeup at the moment so I was like well okay now that I've been you know organizing stuff and you know packing some stuff up and all that stuff I don't want to bring that right back in and like make it all disorganized again so this weekend I'm working on some packing and stuff like that and then and then I'll bring it back in that and also I've been I got back at a doctor's appointment, just a regular, regular checkup. And then after that, I had, it just, I haven't had time either. So it's my Trader Joe's Rose Facial Toner Spray. Okay. <clears throat> what am I doing now? I guess I'll do the lower lash line first. And then we'll do the, uh, and then we'll do my highlight. So I'm going to go in with, what is this? Electric from Urban Decay. Um, ooh, that tickles. Whenever it's like, ooh, whenever <laughs> it's a very sharpened eyeliner pencil, it always tickles. Ooh, that feels so weird. So I'm just going to put that in my waterline. I have a vision of how this look is going to turn out. I hope I'm right. Hmm. I was thinking that maybe I should switch to the palette. Ooh, I just got hair in my eye. That I should switch two of the palette shades around because. <sighs> okay, so I've used the Alien palette and the Androgyny palette already. And I was going to use Cavity from. I feel like that blush is really like orangey. I was going to use. brighter than normal. I was going to use Cavity from the Blood Sugar Palette and Violence from the Beauty Killer Palette, but I think I'm going to switch it around and I think I'm going to use uh, I think I'm going to use Coma right here from the Blood Sugar Palette and I think I'm going to use Star Power from the uh, Beauty Killer palette. I think, and I'm still gonna use Submerge from the Thirsty palette, because I think that'll work out better. Okay, so, there's my little smudger brush. I know I put it here somewhere. There it is. It's so thin, I couldn't find it looks like this very tiny it's a morphe m213 so i'm going to go into coma which is that purpley shade and i'm going to run that on the lower lash line i also want to do you know how people have done the recreating like looks that bigger YouTubers have done. I want to do a look where, or I want to do, 
I don't know if it's, I'm going to call it a series, but I want to do like a few videos where I recreate some of my friends looks. I think that would be fun. Recreate one of Annette's looks, one of Prularoo's looks, one of Allison's looks, and so on and so forth. My friend Haley J just did a look I want to recreate. So that's pretty. I want it to be a little bit more bright, which I think is why Star Power will work out. And I don't think Violence was purple enough, so that's why I switched it around. So I'm just gonna put star power over top of coma now so that is like i said the bright pink right here that was like the original jeffree star hot pink shade so if you don't know or you're not familiar with like jeffree star's brand beauty killer was first then androgyny then blood sugar then thirsty then alien so the order I swatched them in is the order that they came out. I like all the palettes for different reasons, but I would definitely say blood sugar is my favorite. Even though I think it's the least versatile. <laughs> Because I feel like it's, I feel like you can only create so many looks with like a one-toned red palette. So, it's beautiful. It just isn't as versatile as all of his other ones. Okay. We're going to go back in with my liner because I feel like I lost some of that blue with all the colors on the lower lash line this is going to be a longer video and then I'm going to go in with the shade Freak which is another eyeliner from Urban Decay but it's like a mint green kind of and I'm just going to put oh, oh, ow. a little bit of that on top I don't even know if it will make a difference Not really. I think it actually made it worse. <laughs> I think I made, it made it not as blue. So I'm going back in with the blue. Okay. And then I'm going to take that blue liner and I'm just going to put some in my inner corner. Because we're going to be going in with Submerge. I know, crazy, but we're going to go in with that on the inner corner, which is the blue shade. <clears throat> so now that I will have used all of them. Okay, where's my smudger brush? I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Okay, ah, Splash, that's the name of that green shade. I was trying to remember the name of the green shade earlier for no reason. So I'm just sticking that in my inner corner and then I will put my highlighter on top which will make it a little bit brighter. I know this is a very weird look but I just wanted to do something different. Okay. And for my highlighter, I'm trying to think. I think I was thinking about using frosting, but I'm thinking about using, hmm, I think I'll go in with the Northern Lights palette from Jeffree Star. And I really, really like this palette. For my inner corner, I'm going to use Below Freezing. Oh, goodness. Went in a little hard there. So that's the blue shade. 
And I think I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of Alaskan ice. Yes, that is what I was looking for. Exactly. It's just gonna brighten up that blue that's in the inner corner. Perfect. And again, this is a weird, weird color combination, I know, but it's pretty. I don't know, it's a little strange, but cool. That's another thing I want to do is more unique, different color combinations. All right, so I'm going to do my highlight now. I wanted to use, yes, this. Okay, so I got these Luxie brush. Uh, are they Luxie? Yeah. Luxie brushes or Luxie brushes in the mail, or not in the mail, in my boxy charm. Um, and I just haven't used them. So I really wanted to use them. So I think I'm going to use for this look Frozen Gold. I haven't used that as a highlighter. And I just want to see how it goes. So that is the, from the same, um, that's pretty. I want to spray my face just a little bit more. By the time I decided what shade to get or what shade to use, I feel like my spray had dried a little bit. Oh, Jeffrey, I know. Okay, now that's, now we're talking. I'm so happy that I waited to get the highlighter palette instead of one of the singles, but there are still some shades that I want in the single, but probably won't get them. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of Thought Out, which is the more pinky shade. I don't know how I feel about this brush for highlighting. Let me know if you guys use this. It's called the Tapered Highlighter Brush. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's not terrible. It's just not my favorite for highlighting, I think. I'm just going to take a little bit more of my blush brush. I mean, it put it on there for sure. This is the strangest makeup look I've ever done. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Princess Lash Mascara. I'm going to Ulta this weekend because... I have a few items that I need to replace, which I'm allowed to do on my no buy. Um, and one of them is get the Bad Gal Bang mascara. The sample size that I got from Sephora, I think finally dried out or I don't know, but it's finally done. And I don't want to use it anymore, but I fell in love with that mascara. I chose it as a sample. I'm going to link Annette's channel because this is my second time talking about her. But um, I saw Annette using it on her channel. And when I checked out of my Sephora cart, I think it was, they had an option to get a sample of it, like a deluxe sample with a promo code. So... I was like, you know, that's that mascara and that is always raving about, so I got it. And I am so happy and sad at the same time that I did. Happy because I love it. Sad because of the price. But it really, that mascara, I mean, I like this one too, of course, but this one and the volume amazing, but the Bad Gal Bang mascara literally makes you look like you have false lashes on when you don't. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do one more thing with my eyeshadow, which is I want the lid to be a little bit more green. And I don't have my glitter glue here. So I'm gonna have to spray my brush, which is something I normally don't do. But I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that probe shade. Jeffrey is going crazy. I told him we'd go on a walk. I think that made it oh, just the tiniest amount more green. I think also if you want to make it really green, you can um, use it on a, what is it called? Um, you can always take it and put it on top of a, like a green eyeshadow base. And then I think I'm going to go back into the Northern Lights highlighter palette and I'm going to go Alaskan Ice is a shade that is like a white base, but it has like a green shift. And I'm just going to just in the one area, tap a little bit of that over top of it. Because it just, you can see, just changes it slightly and just makes it a little bit more green. There we go. I like that. And for lips, oh my gosh, come here, I need you to close. For lips, I'm going to go into this random Estee Lauder lip liner that I got. Um, I need to sharpen it. I just bought the NYX uh, sharpener because I had a really old like pencil sharpener and this one has like the two different sizes which will be good for the jumbo eyeshadow pencil. But this is a small little, it's called Rose Estee Lauder. It came in a kit like you know, you know what I'm talking about. One of those kits that comes with like two lipsticks and, and this and like some other stuff. I know Jeffrey. Sophie's taking a nap with my hubby on the couch. Along with Suki. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Androgyny, which I love this lip color, but to be honest with you, the only reason we're using this today, well, I think it'll go with the look, but um, is because of the fact that all my other Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are in the car. Are they in the car? Maybe not. No, I think I brought those in. Oh... Oh my gosh, he is like, it was like the never ending wine just now. Now, this bullet lipstick is very dry. Like, it is not a creamy lipstick by any means. But I like it because it stays on. So I do like that about it. And then I'm going in with the Hello Kitty uh, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade. I have no idea because it wore off the bottom. But they don't sell it anymore. I wish that they would because it has like a, like a duochrome effect. And it is so gorgeous. Like, I love it. I think I bought three of them and I do not like the other glossy ultra glossy lips I only like this one fairy floss is okay uh, that's the other one that I would say I'll stick on my teeth that's the other one I would say that I kind of like from them but for the most part they're ultra ultra glossy lips are not my favorite um, formula 
Okay, Whew. that was a lot of setting spray. This is the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray, which I like what it does, but it's definitely very intense spray. And I think I just got uh, foundation and stuff in my hair. Anyhow, so this is the final look. Um, I think it's definitely more neutral, but I do like it, and I like that I can mix all the different palettes together and come up with a whole look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I definitely hope that you will go check out Jessica's channel. Like I said, she's awesome. And show her some love and subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.